Hello everybody. So on this video we will be model the drive shaft if I said it right. Right this part. I mean we have a little bit of limited information here but we will try to do our best to build the shape. And um so let's take a look so oh right there I see something. Here we go. right there so it's actually is really kind of basic shape and um we do not need to do all the detail like this because it's under the car and most likely you will not do that um, render shot right on the bottom anyway so um, so we will just make a really simple shape and I also have a little bit of um, images from the other part of the modern car which is slightly uh, which is a lot different though um, we are gonna I think what we need is um, we need the based on the um, <coughs> our photo referencing it seems like there's a um, the center cylindrical right there and then that's hooked up with another uh, slender, like a uh, long slender, go to the engine. And um, so, okay, uh, we can start this with a uh, basic cylindrical. And on the cylindrical, I will, uh, we can build it from the font, it's fine. And then uh, we will probably have to make adjustment on this shape. Um, because it's gonna penetrate it can you see like that so we have to make a little adjustment on that okay so I'm gonna line up with this uh, geometry shift select match transform match orientation and even though oh so never mind orientation doesn't match uh, it's match but the original version was a sphere when I select I think um, so we're gonna have to put a uh, positive 90 on Z direction and now I'm gonna template this we go. move in place and we want to have a um, we can we don't have to do 16 this time we can do half of it just only it then uh, radius you can make it a little bit bigger a little bit bigger well I'm sorry guys let's do 16 so that is match and um, I think radius because this would be a a disc break so you know make it a little bigger and um, when you look at on the uh, reference and um, see there's a slightly bigger than the uh, center of the rim if I find the better image somewhere there here we go so oh it's not that big it's slightly bit bigger but not too big okay so this is might be too oops sorry I got a safe scene as I forgot it to be on the other version now nine okay so I think five is in how about five point two five a little bit bigger okay and um, I think is might be well that's okay this is good enough I would do this though um let's add cap to two and then we're gonna make this section larger so I turn on scale and I scale only X and uh, X and Z so that look like this I just want slightly bit bigger and then I'm gonna extrude that faces so I can select I'm gonna switch to selection to Q select 
basically I am building this part there's a slightly bit level right there I mean you don't really but can you see it right here on the back there's a bit larger so I'm gonna extrude this you can hold shift drag just shift and drag here, here. just a little bit like that okay and um, I'm gonna go to object mode and push this backward a little bit here so that you can see so it's come out can you see it right there If I press three, you will see a little rounder. If I press one, I think I'm gonna make slightly bit bigger. I sh select that ring S and scale two. And just scale only X and Z, just a bit. Here we go, so that we can see the difference. And now this section. I don't know if I should scale them. Let's try just extrude it. So this is gonna be a rod. So and I'm gonna use font view to look at it. You can hold shift key to extrude or shift right mouse click and extrude is fine. So I think it's probably too big. And I'm gonna move it right on the center of the word space. So let me, um, no, center of the, um, see that line? Okay. There we go. I think it's too big. Yeah, it is. Well, to make it smaller, I can select all the faces on this rod, turn on scale two, and then scale only two axes again. I need to switch to full so that you can see. I think that's good enough. Okay. And um, I mean, if you wanted to have a hold on, let me go to five. A little level from here. Um, you you can you. I'm gonna let me undo quick. Let's move this back. It's like only. Let me subtract. Move this back. Let's make this as a base. Here we go. And we're gonna extrude and then offset it so that they're a bit smaller. How about 0.5? Oh, sorry. 1.5. Here we go. And then I'm gonna extrude again. I can press G and um you can just push like this switch to selection to right there here we go and um, yeah so I think this section might be too thick How about that? yeah let's play a little bit I think. Um, I'm gonna make this size a little bigger so flat out here we go and I believe let me check the image again they might be too thick it might be yeah it is too thick okay so thin it out well, in this case, I probably have to move this one too. And then, here we go. Okay. And um, I can play a little bit by add bevel. And seek and oh, fraction point a little bit less. Here we go. That's good enough. That's good enough. And I think that's. probably it okay so now on the center this is what we could do um, I could cut multi cut to I mean you could still using extrude like for example if I 
move these backward a little bit. Yeah. No, no, sorry. Let's do my this way. Easier. Multi-cut. Split it. Somewhere there. And then go to phase. Select these phases and extrude. Then you just push outward like that. Yeah. So let me check. We might need to template this. little bit to I think the um, <coughs> I am kind of down that hold on let me the font one the the drive shaft might has a little angle because it has to void a um, f um what is it? Um, radiator. Hold on, let me look at sub closer. I think really E is slightly angle it. It's more like um, um, if I switch to vertices, just push a little bit backward. Hold on, don't put there yet. Cut right here in the middle just in the middle is fine and grab the disease there and then just push backward like this I think that what it is just a little bit has a little bit angle on it but the back one will not though so um, let let's undo quick um, after you undo you duplicate this control D then you just move backwards so that we can reuse that that's considering it's done so let me move that back yeah so you might need to hold v key and grab only a z axis so that it snap to vertex but it doesn't shift left and right okay so now i can come back here grab that and then push backward a little bit just a little bit here we go okay so now we're gonna mirror it let's delete history Alt shift D modify fits transform here we go and this uh, we, we will rename it later because we have to duplicate first so um, we can mirror it and I'm gonna have to delete these phases because we want it to mirror and I double click on the element here we go and I'm gonna turn on a polygon display border edges so that we can see the border so now <coughs> go to object mode shift right mouse click and choose mirror and these will be right now is on positive X so it will be negative X boundary again merge we want to merge because we have only one open phase uh, one uh, one open border and done so now it's merge see the thick line is gone and see if it's correct length I think so okay so now the back side do the same get rid of the face in here hit delete and then these are one single element I can double click and this time we're gonna turn on a border edges again so that we can see this border should be gone when we mirror it here we go and done so now when you're done you can actually save a little bit of geometry by deleting the uh, oh. hey wait a minute oh I somehow has a isolate vertices I do not know how so hit delete select all and when I double click it should continuity select that it should move uh, it should looping so I think this is gonna be another problem 
because if I do C double click on the ears. Oh, this one's not. Why the other one does? That's strange. Okay. So I can delete it. Here we go. To make it lighter. Okay. You can leave it there as also. I mean, so I'm going to add that in here. Hang on. So now, let's rework on this section because it's printed. So I'm going to switch to one so that I know where how to move them. Um, in this case, I'm going to just go ahead shift this section. You might need to switch to four so that you can see it. Shift it. And then we're going to have to extend some of the part. So basically, I want that to be clearance from the drive shaft. But then I want this section to go all the way to the uh, to go a little further. So I could let's do only I could do just only that phase. Because it's beneath it, and we just want it to block right here. So make sure you select all the phases here, right there. Same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we twelve phases. See, I just stop right there. I mean, you could even do multi-cut here to get more span there, and then you can extrude it from even from there too. But it's on the bottom; is really nobody gonna really see it. So I'm gonna just extrude it, and I'm gonna look up from here, and then just move like that. There we go. So that they kind of touch. right there yeah I think might be too far I think that's it here we go yep I'm right there I forgot that what we build it for so it's about touch there and I can press three here we go that's how it look okay and um gonna control one to isolate and press one so we need to stop continuity right there one and two press three that's good you know okay press one there and there here we go. Okay. Control one to bring everything back. And now let's check on this. Control one again. We're gonna press three. Press one back. So I'm gonna double click on the two, any two, and let's see if this is working. Last time I had a hard time. It's not working. Why? Mm -mm -mm, snap. You might be able to. Uh, is X. Object X is correct. That's so strange. Um, I hope that uh, when you work at home, you are able to do it. To use symmetrical, right? Like when you double click on here under symmetrical, symmetry setting, you set to here. Let me set this to object space here to work. No, it doesn't work at all. Let me delete history. Feeds transform. 
I do not know why. Let me edit a reset pivot point and X. Still not working. Um, I'm not sure what caused that. It should work. So now, if it's not working, just I'm gonna just have to uh, continue to do left and right. I have no choice. So let me press three. So okay. I want this section to be sharper, like real sharp. And three. Here we go. And now, uh, this section though we can't cut because it's triangle but we can ox uh, extrude and offset it to get that uh, oh, point one i think point one let's do one nope point two five here we go so really close i can make this closer slice it slide it and with the mouse drag uh, slide press three here we go, it's really sharp now. One more there. And I'll do right there. Three. That's good enough. And this section, um, if I want it to be a really sharp bevel, I can do it like this. Yeah. A little, see, a little sharp there. So go back to one, cut right here. One. Two, three, and four, and five. Here we go. And I'm going to leave that section as is right here to have a little blended. So I cut only the here, not this one. Okay. So we're going to do the same in this section. I want it to be sharp looking. Oh, now symmetry is working. I don't know why it doesn't work at the beginning. It work only as, I don't know, something. <laughs> okay. So now I should turn off now so that in case it's try to add double on the other side. inside there. The reason is I want to have a little blending right here. Okay. And now I'm going to just do the outside. Here we go. I just, after I cut, I press 3 so that I can see how it looks. Select these phases. I switched uh, when when I'm doing selection. I switch to a uh, selection tool so that I don't extrude by accident. Extrude. Now offset. I think 0.25 last time I did. Here we go. Okay. So now I'm press three. It looks like this. Looks high detail, sharp edge. Control one to bring everything back. I'm going to work on the, uh, the uh, I mean, if you don't want to rework, you can reduplicate the uh, font one and make a little adjustment, make it straight line. So, but I'm going to practice. So right now, this section, let me try symmetry again, see if it works. Nope, doesn't work, so turn it off. So I'm going to remove these edges. There's no need to have it because there's no bending at all. So you're going to have to shift right mouse click, delete edges. There we go. And then continue to cut. So this one, extrude. There we go. I 
extrude and offset 0.25 you already know that and then multi-cut cut here really close Skip inside. Okay. And if you press three, it should look good. Okay, let's run back. I just cut it exactly the same way as I cut on the front drive shaft. Same way. Just continue to cut. Come on. Almost. And um, I ain't gonna use paint selection too. Might be quicker. Switch to Q, extrude, offset 0.25, and done. That's it. First three, here we go. So, okay, we done building the uh, uh, drive shaft. So let's name this one is the font. Delete history, I forgot. And modify face transform just in case. Same here. Delete history, Alt Shift D. Modify face transform. And then I'm gonna save. So just in case if we reopen, it might become um, what, it, what it, um, like like last time when we. Um, when when is error so this is the back back drive shaft i th oh, um one more minute i think i guys um I look at on the internet it's actually it's called Excel so this one is rare Excel it so I'm a little confused but let, let's call Excel might be um, rare Excel mesh I think it's called Excel um, spell like this Excel. Yeah, let's do that. Red and font Excel mesh. And this one will be the font, not drive shaft. If I'm wrong, uh, if you find out that I was I'm wrong, let me know. We can change them later. Okay, so that's it for this video and. Uh, we will continue again soon.